the most confusing player in the Golden State Warriors and even in the whole NBA, and that is none other than Jordan Poole. As you all know, Jordan Poole recently signed a contract extension four years of $140 million, but a lot of Warriors fans are a little bit concerned because he hasn't been living up to this hype. He's been playing very inconsistently, and not many Warriors fans are very excited to see him in the playoffs if he can get it done and help the Golden State Warriors win another NBA championship. In today's video, we're going to be going through two good things and two bad things about Jordan Poole and how he can help this Golden State Warriors team win another NBA championship. So make sure to like this video and guys, 92% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. So it'd mean the world if you could subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. So the first negative about Jordan Poole's game is his turnovers and inconsistency. So as you all know, Jordan Poole actually leads the team in turnovers, averaging 3.2 turnovers per game. So this is honestly super high and he has had a lot of games where he's getting a bunch of turnovers. And I'm not talking only three or four, or I'm talking upwards to seven or six. So I honestly think this is something that Jordan Poole needs to work on. One of the reasons why this is super important is that Jordan Poole is the main guy for this second unit. And when players such as Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, you know, other starters such as Draymond Green are all off, they really need him to provide pretty much everything for this team, especially for that second unit. And that can't happen if he is a turnover machine. On top of that, he is the point guard and point guards shouldn't really be getting that many turnovers. And if they are getting that many turnovers considered in this league as a bad point guard. So I think that is really something that Jordan Poole needs to work on. On top of that comes with his inconsistency as well. If we look at the last 15 games, he's had a lot of different types of games when it comes to scoring and also percentages. He's had a most recent game against the Houston Rockets where he only had five points and shot 12% from the field. Yes, guys, you heard that right. 12% from the field. He also had four other games earlier on during this 15 game span, guys. So this is only the most recent 15 games where he shot under 25% against Minnesota, also against New Orleans Pelicans and LA Lakers. Another game where he only shot 30% against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And I do think this definitely does show the inconsistency that Jordan Poole has. Now, as you all know, Jordan Poole did get a max contract and he's not really playing up to that max contract potential, especially due to the fact that playoffs are just around the corner and NBA championship time is coming up. And Jordan Poole is going to have to take a much bigger role ever since Andrew Wiggins came down. So, you know, Andrew Wiggins is probably not going to be returning with the issues that he is experiencing. And with that, Jordan Poole needs to step up and be that guy. So they are looking, going to be looking for him when it comes to scoring, especially. And I think it is important for Jordan Poole to become consistent because when it comes to playoffs, guys, they don't even have, you know, seven games all the time. If they get knocked out or sweep, there's only four games and Jordan Poole needs to find a way to prove himself in all four games. So that's why I think it is very important for him to improve his consistency especially when playoff time comes around because you only got a couple of games to really show that because all it takes is four mistakes and your team could get sweep from the playoffs. So I think that's why it is super important, not on top of just his inconsistency, but also with the playoffs coming around, Andrew Wiggins is out. So there's all these things that definitely take into consideration. And with Jordan Poole receiving the max contract on top with Andrew Wiggins, I think it is very important for him to really understand what he needs to do not only in that end of points, but when it comes to what he's actually doing out there on the defensive end, and also when it comes to playmaking, they all tend to suffer when he has those poor games. So it's not just he can't be able to get a bucket. He's not just playing great defense. It seems it all happens in one game where he is just absolutely horrible. You know, unfortunately, I don't mean to be so harsh on him, but there are games where Jordan Poole doesn't even look like a max contract type player. Now, he definitely needs to figure that out and he needs to figure out soon before the playoffs come around. So the first positive about Jordan Poole's game is that he is an absolute scoring machine. Now don't get me wrong, he is inconsistent at times, but when Jordan Poole is hot when it comes to scoring, he is absolutely on fire and I think it's honestly fantastic to see that. Jordan Poole is averaging so far this season 20 points. He's also shooting from the free throw line 87%, which is really good to see. His three point percentage is 32%, averaging around 2.53 points made. And also on top of that guys, his field goal percentage is 42% which is really good as well. Now, when it comes to all these facets, I do think when Jordan Poole is given the hot hand, he can definitely score at will. He's put up some really great games, especially when Stephen Curry was out for some time and he was able to carry Golden State Warriors in some matchups where they were able to get the win. He's had a most recent game against the Toronto Raptors where he dropped 43, another game against Portland where he dropped 41, and also a couple of games against San Antonio Spurs and Utah where he both dropped 36 in those matchups. So Jordan Poole, when he is hot, he 
can definitely get it going and he definitely is a bucket and this is something that i think is so important about his game especially when it comes to this second unit now as you all know the second unit isn't obviously as important as the starters but i do think if jordan Poole can really provide that much scoring for this team for the second unit he will honestly wipe out the second unit of any other team like i said guys this game is built off all 10 players not just the starters you know the bench needs to get involved and i think that is super super important and when it comes to other teams guys i really do believe that golden state have one of the best offensive benches compared to any other team in the nba yes there may be other nba teams that have great starters that have big guys all that good stuff but i do think when it comes to all 10 players overall golden state warriors definitely have a really great all-around team and i think this is something that jordan paul can definitely take advantage of especially when it comes to playoff and championship time now his scoring is capable of not only just on the three his driving ability is very good and he's been able to assist off it very very well i think that's something jordan Poole has definitely added to his game as of recent you know jordan Poole becoming such a big target when it comes to him driving to the lane or getting a bucket it's definitely seen a huge increase in his assist so with his points his rookie season he was only averaging 8.8 .8 points now he's averaging 20 and we look at his assists as well he was only averaging 2.3 assists in his rookie season and now he's averaging 4.6 so nearly five so i think that's fantastic to see and i think jordan Poole can even get those assist numbers up and i do think they all are interrelated into each other you know the more points you score the more attention you have the more attention you have you're probably going to get doubled and that's where jordan Poole can definitely really shine especially when it comes to the playmaking abilities so i definitely do think it is something he definitely needs to continue to work on and get better at because i do think he has the potential of really being up there with 25 points a game coming off the bench you know you don't really see too many players like that that can give you 20 25 points a game coming off the bench but i definitely think he can definitely be that guy so when it comes to his game style it really does resemble a lot like stephen curry and i think that's why it works so well with the golden state warriors i really don't see him struggling when it comes to you know getting buckets here and there especially when it comes to the system that steve kerr has built the second negative about Jordan Poole's game is his defensive ability. Now, as you all know, Jordan Poole isn't too much of a defender, but just to show you the numbers and stats don't lie, Jordan Poole actually ranks dead last when it comes to defensive rating, and I honestly do think that is a huge problem. Now, don't get me wrong, Jordan Poole is a great offensive player, but the fact that he has the worst defensive rating out of everyone in this team, I think is really, really bad due to the fact that he's getting some of the most minutes off the bench as well. Like I always say, guys, defense does win championships and i definitely do think it does hurt a lot of the team when jordan Poole isn't picking up the slack on defense so jordan Poole, just to give you a perspective has a defensive rating of 117.8 and then we have number one which is kavon looney at 111.9 but if we look at in the guard section such as dante divincenzo who's a guard he actually has the fourth best defensive rating at 114 so you definitely see a huge difference between jordan Poole and dante divincenzo even though they are both guards and i definitely do think jordan Poole can get get that number on now when it comes to defense it really does take into account a lot of things sometimes it's athleticism sometimes it's just your sheer will to be able to play great defense and i think jordan Poole is lacking in a bit of both i think jordan Poole just doesn't really try too much on defense his game has been so much focused on offense and scoring that he hasn't really bothered to really try a lot on defense and i think that definitely needs to change especially with andrew wiggins out now i always do refer to andrew wiggins because losing andrew wiggins this season has honestly been been a huge blow for this Warriors team now do I think they are capable of still doing great things of course but I do think losing someone like Andrew Wiggins who was a defensive juggernaut out there who's also the second highest scorer in the last year's you know uh, guest championship run it definitely takes a huge hit to this team and they need to find a way around it it's great that they have Gary Payton the second back but Jordan Poole needs to start picking up the slack as he is one of those players that is going to be getting 25 plus maybe even 30 plus minutes in certain games and he can't be lacking out there on defense because it is going to hurt this team drastically this was a problem that Stephen Curry had back in the day and a lot of people said this is one of the reasons why Golden State Warriors have lost NBA championships in the past he said that Stephen Curry's defense was a bit of a liability he wasn't strong enough he wasn't fast enough and they always do say that's one of the reasons why Kyrie was able to get the shot off so you know there are a lot of rumors like that like I said guys I'm not saying that this is exactly true it's all just you know rumors that 
that I hear. Also, ESPN takes that always come up with Stephen A. Smith and all that. But when it comes to all that, I think that is honestly such a huge thing about this game. Defense is such a long lost art that I do think it is important for people to have great defense and Jordan Poole definitely needs to have that. His lack of defensive ability definitely does hurt this Warriors team. And that's one of the reasons why Warriors are actually in the bottom half when it comes to defensive rating as a whole as a team. So I think Jordan Poole definitely needs to pick up his slack on defense. You know, even if he has those inconsistent offensive games, if he's getting stops, getting steals, you know, really doing a great job at stopping the other team from scoring. I think that is what is most important with this team and what is most important when it comes to winning a championship. Because like they always say, guys, defense wins championships. The second great thing about Jordan Poole's game is his impact playstyle. Now, this is something that I've coined myself called impact playstyle, but I do think Jordan Poole has that vibe about him that really is very high octane and gets the second unit going. He has the aggressiveness to score at will. He's able to make those plays when it comes to playmaking, and he just really does provide that energy that that second unit needs. You definitely need that player that provides that energy for the rest of the four, and I do think he is definitely that guy for the second unit. Now, it doesn't have to just be offensively it can also be defensively perfect example of this is someone like Patrick Beverly he does it on defense he provides the energy and he really gets the rest of the team going you also have Draymond Green an exact teammate of Jordan Poole who does it for the starting five providing that defensive energy and I do think Jordan Poole does provide that but it's more on the offensive side of things his aggressiveness out there his play style his playmaking has all been very very good for the second unit and has really given them a lot of confidence to really all shine so so far this season Jordan Poole is averaging 20 points 4.6 assists and also 2.7 rebounds and he's doing that at a great rate and i do think if he does keep this up and continue to do what he does best i think the second unit are looking very well especially into the playoffs and championships i'm telling you right now when it comes to playoff and championships the only thing that is going to beat the golden state warriors over other teams is definitely the second unit and that's why if the golden state warriors have a strong second unit there is no team that can take down the warriors and i truly do believe that